Hey, what's up, everybody? It's just Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Bro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And, man, you see, I got to do it again today. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go off on this video again today. So um, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. So I was actually minding my business. We had already produced the content for today. We already had what we wanted to do. We weren't even going to talk about LeBron today because I was like, you know what? It's his day. Let the guy, I mean, like, really the game because I knew everybody was going to cover it. So we're like, let, let the other guys cover it. But uh, one of our viewers left a comment on our channel. And was, I'm sorry if I don't remember your name. And he basically left a comment saying, did you hear what they said on First Take today? Yeah, okay, First I mean, not First Take, uh, First Things First, the show with Nick Wright, Chris Broussard, and others. And I was like, no, I didn't. So let me go take a quick listen to what they were actually talking about. And of course, they were talking about the major milestone that LeBron James achieved. And by the way, congratulations to LeBron. That's a hell of an achievement to be the number one, number two scorer of all time in NBA history passing Carl Malone. That's a hell of an achievement by any uh, you know measurement. That's a hell of an achievement. So as I was listening to this segment, uh, they were reacting to some comments that Chris Broussard actually put out on Twitter. And I actually saw those comments earlier this morning when I was doing my research. But I said to myself, is this, a, is this worthy of a video? I said, no, I don't, I don't really think it is. He's just congratulating the guy. But then, of course, uh, Nick Wright took it as a moment to try to say somehow that because LeBron is now the number two scorer of all time, that somehow this means that he passed Michael Jordan. And during that segment, essentially, what Chris Broussard did was totally shut down Nick Wright and say, hold on, and just poorly, just totally shut him down and just annihilated whatever type of argument he was going to put forward. So for those of you who missed this segment, where Chris Broussard was basically setting Nick Wright straight, take a listen to some of the things that he had to say here. And then, of course, we're going to come back and give you guys our thoughts. So take a listen to what uh, Chris Broussard had to say there. Take a listen to that. And I cannot objectively say LeBron is better than Michael Jordan. The, Nick, these, these total stats, total numbers... Uh, compiled stats, accumulated stats. Compiled. You know that is not how we judge all, the greatest player. All right, in any of the sports, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the all-time leading scorer and third in rebounds, okay? Nobody ever brings yeah. that up when they ch say he's the GOAT. Nobody says Kareem's the GOAT for the most part. Well, they should. Right, Larry Bird, Larry Bird isn't in the top 30 of anything. Scoring, rebound, or assist. But there's not a reputable yeah. top 10 list, I bet including yours, that doesn't include Correct. Bird in the top 10. John Stockton has six, nearly 6,000 more assists than Magic Johnson. Yet Magic Johnson is universally regarded as the best passer of all time. So, <laughs> no, we go more by per game numbers. And here it is. We judge greatness more when we're talking about GOATs what was your peak? As long as it lasted a significant length of time, we value your peak over your longevity. And look at this graphic for peak. Michael Jordan did more in 13 peak. healthy seasons than LeBron has done in 17 healthy seasons. That's four more years. And look at that, more titles. More finals MVPs, more league MVPs, more scoring championships, more steals or assists titles, more defensive player of the year, more all defenses. Like, what? it's over. It's I'm so sorry. disingenuous. Right, it's right there. See, but there you go. Well, you said it's over, and that just what it's because you and I could make Look the exact at, same well, graphic. Okay, I, maybe LeBron right, will win more rings let's, and do more let's things. Do, okay. Let's do all NBAs. Hold on, let's do first team all NBAs. Let's do second team all NBAs. Let's do finals appearance. I could do the hold on, how about this? How about times leading the playoffs in categories? I could make the same thing. How many times did Jordan lead the playoffs in assists? Never. LeBron a half dozen times. How many times did Jordan lead the playoffs in rebounds? Of course never. LeBron a couple times. Like with the 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 reason you guys dismiss the numbers is because the numbers are so overwhelming. So here's what I would like you two to admit. That you guys decided long ago LeBron was ineligible. Because if after the 2016 no. finals... Okay, well then, then let me ask you this. Then after the 2016 finals, the 3-1 comeback, the greatest three-game stretch in NBA history. If I would have asked you, what does LeBron need to do 
Unless the answer was six rings, six rings. It's got to be six rings. If it's not six rings, there's not six rings. Even though Jordan was called the GOAT after three rings, that'd be six rings. He's done it. And he's done it while proving people wrong. The two years after the 2016 finals, he took his team back to the finals both years. And you said per game. Okay, 34, 10, demolished. and 10 on 55%. They got demolished. Could he have played better? No. Now, here are my thoughts on this. I get tired. I get tired. I get exhausted. Be in some of you dudes down when it comes to this Michael Jordan LeBron. Listen, I've said it before. I'm going to reiterate it here again. LeBron James is a top five basketball player of all time in my book. I think no matter what is said about the guy, I think he's one of the five greatest players of all time. So I think very highly of LeBron. Again, some people are going to say, why don't you have LeBron number one or number two? If you don't have a number two, that's a disrespect. Well, and to those people, I say, you can go ahead and kick the biggest rock you can find in front of you right now because I don't give a damn. LeBron is not the second best player of all time. In my personal view, some people will feel otherwise. That's your business. I think some of you guys push it a little bit, a little bit too far. But for those of you who somehow feel that because LeBron just passed Karl Malone, then that means he's better than Michael Jordan. Then why wasn't he better than Michael Jordan when he passed Michael Jordan on the all-time scoring list? So when he passed Kobe Bryant? It's absurd. It is totally absurd. Just like when Kobe Bryant passed Michael Jordan on the all-time scoring list, nobody was coming out here talking about some damn Kobe Bryant is better than Michael Jordan. And Kobe Bryant is my favorite. This is coming from a Kobe Bryant fan. The difference is here is I can reason fairly well. Just because Kobe has more points than Jordan doesn't mean he's better. That achievement of points has a lot to do with duration, how long you've been playing. Has nothing to do with the fact that you're better than somebody. If Russell Westbrook played basketball for 35 years, he would be the all-time scoring leader. So if he has the most points, therefore he's better than Michael Jordan, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, that's absurd. So for anybody trying to make that argument and somehow assert that just because LeBron is... It is a weak argument to make, folks. I recently heard someone say that LeBron is no longer considered, he's no longer thinking about beating Jordan when it comes to accomplishments. He's trying to beat Jordan with counting numbers. How many more assists? How many more rebounds? How many more points? But you and I both know that that, that doesn't make you better than Michael Jordan. Y'all know that. You know who the most accomplished basketball player is. You're talking about a longevity stat. That doesn't make you better than Michael Jordan. I am sorry. It's not even, it's, it's a terrible argument to make. Number one, number two. Again, for the people out there that think that this thing is some type of debate, it is a joke of a debate. Again, if you're going to use counting numbers, so I guess Karl Malone is better than Michael Jordan too, right? He's better than Kobe Bryant. This is a stupid argument to make. But nevertheless, some people are going to try to make it. Some LeBron fans take issue with me because they say I'm hating. I think you guys, take, I think you guys have a very serious challenge when it comes to facts and reasoning. Facts and reasoning is not you guys' friends. Whenever people start bringing up facts to you and, and critical thinking and, you know, try to logic, you think about things logically, you guys just fall apart and then, start, oh, he's hating. We got one guy that's always coming on the channel, leaving comments as if he's like some type of illiterate. I'm like, you're leaving these comments, bro. It's like, are you reading what you're writing? Listen, it's not close. Jordan is by far the better player. Let me say it again for those of you who missed the last video. The distance between Michael Jordan and LeBron James is the play in the playoffs is the difference between heaven and earth. Jordan is a, on, a, on a totally different level period in the story. He has outperformed LeBron with every measurable, uh, uh, e by every measurable standard that you can put out there. Every single one that matters, he beats him. Winning, beating tougher competition, beating a tougher team. Jordan wins in every single category. Every single one. The only body, the only person that thinks that LeBron and Jordan are on the same level on TV is Shannon Sharp and Nick Wright and maybe uh, uh, Kendrick Perkins. And if you listen to their arguments, it's usually Swiss cheese arguments full of holes, things that make no sense. So to me, I'm happy that he pushed back on it. But this entire thing is a joke. You guys need to let it go. It's over. It's over. It's done. They're not, they're not, they're not, they're not peers. Period. End of story. Whatever you guys think, uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section. We'll catch you guys on the next episode. And please spare me with this nonsense. We have better things to talk about. Catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.